Good morning. I'm delighted to be here and thank you for inviting us to participate in this event today. You know, the new Intel E7 V2 processor is the foundation of IBM's new X6 line of scalable enterprise class systems that we launched last month. And it really enables these new systems to provide new levels of performance, of agility, and really reliability for today's new enterprise class applications like ERP, like database, like analytics that have not been run on Intel architectures in the past. We also expect this new line of servers to spawn a new wave of virtualization of enterprise class apps as we go forward. Now, the X6 line of systems is our sixth generation of our enterprise X architecture systems, which is a culmination of many years of R&D development and collaboration with Intel, which quite frankly has generated a lot of industry first, from the first scalable x86 systems, to the first machines that hit 1 million TPMC, to really most recently what we've been able to do with X6, which is the whole notion of integrating flash into the memory channel with our X flash memory channel storage capability. And quite frankly, as a result of this, according to IDC, that is why IBM System X today has the number one position in four socket and above systems in the x86 world. But today we're really happy here to be here as part of this and also have Moise Kohari here from London Stock Exchange. Moise, the London Stock Exchange is a great customer of ours. And I know that being able to having to operate the London Stock Exchange and having to deal with the demands of performance and reliability really poses a pretty interesting challenge for you and your team. And could you tell us a little bit about how you leverage today System X and, and the Intel E7 line of processors and, and what, what, what's your perspective on that? Sure, so we're very excited about the E7. <clears throat> it's um, usually when you look at new processor lines, you're looking at um, speed, we're get, getting that. You're looking at uh, additional memory access. The access times themselves matter heavily for us. So when you look at the London Stock Exchange group, uh, we run on the front end, we run multiple stock exchanges, London, Milan, Oslo. On the back end, we also run clearing and settlement services um, for many of the European uh, markets. So from that perspective, our needs are somewhat varied because when you look at our needs, we're basically trying to provide the fastest, lowest latency environments on the front end from an exchange perspective. On the back end, we have to provide analytics and all the risk management and collateral management services that we have to and fully integrate that back in with the front end so that we can put all kinds of checks in due to new regulations and things that are arriving. So when you think about all of that, right, what ends up happening is that it's not just we're looking for a large distributed service environment because you know, your, your data centers, everyone's data centers are growing exponentially. We need denser platforms in order to really consolidate our data centers and still be able to deliver much higher level of service, especially when it comes to latency jitter and things like that. If you think about it, latency jitter gets added into the markets when you have your entire exchange or other components that are distributed in a large environment and you have networking components. So you have the TCP IP stack, which is non-reliable uh, to begin with. Um, you know, so from, from those perspectives, when you look at denser platforms and allowing us to be able to leverage memory-based communications across some of these adjacent components, it becomes really interesting. So this whole notion of system design end-to-end -end, given your varied requirements is really fundamental, isn't it? Well, absolutely. Like, you know, even when you do a distributed environment, right, from our perspective, it is an entire system that you need to deploy. We don't look at it as, oh, that's the database or that's the processor, right? The whole thing needs to work together because our clients measure us in our ability to deliver a load latency platform. And of course, reliability, serviceability, availability, that doesn't go away. You know, that's so as you look expected. at E7, V2, and the new X6 systems, what role do these play in your, in your enterprise? Well, we're certainly, uh, 
as you know, we're uh, doing all kinds of work in the lab right now. Uh, we're very excited because um, as we look at denser platforms and our ability to consolidate multiple processes into single system images so that we can try to take some of that jitter away, that becomes really interesting. So there, there's all kinds of innovations that are happening. So this whole notion of performance, of agility, and reliability is fundamental to you, huh? Well, absolutely. I mean, we can't. Well, that's what X6 that. is all about with our Intel X uh, Xeon E7 processor. And we look forward to continuing the collaboration between our two companies as we drive this thing to another level. So thank you, thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for your support. And yeah. uh, look forward to working yeah. with you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Lance. Nice. Thanks, Dahlia. Good to see you.